Hey guys, it's John and welcome to my playthrough of Deadly Night. This is one of the latest games published by Puppet Combo and developed by Cubite Games. I actually played the demo for this some months ago. If I remember correctly, there was a creepy hotel owner uh, and that's about all I remember. It was kind of similar vibes to like Fears to Fathom episode two. Yeah, let's go ahead and start uh, a new game. This game contains nudity scenes. Do you want to censor this type of content? You cannot change this option until you start a new game. Um, well, yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna choose yes. I like how it's like, you can't change it later. Like if just in case you're in the midst of like a steamy scene or something, you want to be like, wait, I want to take the filter off. This is hot stuff. No, we're gonna choose yes. Wait, what's going on? Are there four different scenarios or are these chapters? The motel. Susan, hi Susan. Where are you going? <gasps> Tell her where you are going. Okay, sure. I'm heading north. I'm gonna stay at home with my parents for a while, but right now I just want a place to spend the night and get some rest. Okay. Without luggage and at this hour? Susan sounds very disinterested in what I'm doing. You know what, Susan? How about you mind your own business? Yeah, well, I don't mean to offend you, but I guess it's none of your business. Ooh, don't give up at the end, Carol. You lost all your confidence. You tell her off. Look, I was just trying to be nice. Oh yeah? That's not how you sounded. Maybe you need to check yourself, Susan. By the way, thanks for driving me, I guess. A few miles from here, there's a motel. I'll drop you off there so you can spend the night. Wow, thanks. That is what you generally do at motels. You want to talk some more, Susan? Susan doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Susan, are you hot? How am I supposed to know? If you were hot, I wouldn't have been so rude to you. Because that's how I treat people. I hope you're not the same asshole to everyone. Someone else would have pulled you out of the car. Someone else would have pulled you out of the car? Who? Whoa! Susan wasn't hot before, she's hot now. She's piping mad. Hot under the collar. Get it? All right. If, thank you so much for the sudden tutorial. All right. So what, did we hitchhike? Oh yeah, we hitchhiked. That's right. Nice car, although it's a bit dirty. Oh, how can you even see in there? There's completely shaded windows. Tinted window. How do you keep it seeing there? It's a bit dirty. Oh, I guess you mean on the outside. Oh, well, okay. Everybody's car is a bit dirty on the outside. Ooh, if you sprint, your lungs pop up. Oh, look, they get smaller. Let's make them as small as we can. They're microscopic. Nice. So that's the stamina. It's kind of creative, actually. Usually people just do like a, a big, ugly bar. So I like that a bit more. Door number three. Oh, okay. Is there a way to see? Oh yeah, okay, right there. Four and five. Nice. Six and seven. All right, yeah, let's go uh, Let's go into the motel, shall we? You can see the controls and change some aspects of the game in the pause menu. Remember that the pause may be disabled in some moments, such as the cinematics. Ooh. Nice, bro. Ew. Stinks. I like that. It is trash. It is garbage. So that's true. <sighs> Here we are. Mr. Shiny. It is mandatory to pay in advance and leave the room before noon. We do not have phones in the rooms. The only phone available is at the reception. Talk to the person in charge for more information. Thanks, bud. Hello? I'm not going to pass to the other side. <laughs> Makes it sound like she's not going to die. <clears throat> oh! I shall not pass to the other side. Yeah, you just, Mr. Shiny, is that really your name? Man, he's just suddenly there. Kind of scared the hell out of me. <clears throat> no way. Is that your real voice? <clears throat> Sounds like Joke Yoda over there. Ah, good evening, young lady. What brings you here? 
This is like the type of VA that I would give him. Be nice. Let's get to the point. I need a room to spend the night in. That is generally what you do in hotel rooms. Carol. Are you coming with someone? You are so over the top, mister. Take it down a couple thousand notches. Let's be rude. Do you see anyone else around here? Oh. Well, do you, Mr. Shiny? Many people come here to have sex. Is it your case? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I told that bitch in the car. Mind your own business. What the fuck do you care? <laughs> it's fun being confrontational. I care. I'm sure you're great at wiggling that ass, right? Do you like sex from the front, back, or both? Oh my god. Dude, there's no way that you get laid talking to people like this. I'm gonna demand a room. Wait, wait, or should we leave? Let's leave. Let's see, let, I, I wanna see him grovel. I will not stay here. Fuck you! Oh! Oh, there's no groveling. I kind of want him to be like, wait, wait, wait. In that over the top VA, that's all I wanted to hear. But he's not gonna do that. Have you had second thoughts? A young girl like you shouldn't be out there alone at this hour. <laughs> you sound so, you sound so ridiculous. He, sound, he sounds like a cartoon character. Ask for it. Give me the fucking room. That's not asking, Carol, wow. Goodbye. Are you lost? It's room number eight up the stairs. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Shiny. What was that? What was that turnaround? You're lucky I don't make fun of you. There's a lot to make fun of. First of all, your name's Mr. Shiny. I mean, let's just start there. How many times did you get beat up in elementary school? It's probably why you turned out like this, really. All right, let's go to room number eight. Oh, remember that you can see the controls in the pause menu. Yes, thank you. Not right now. Oh, I see. Hey, look, there's me. Look, wait, 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 wait. That's me. You can see me in the in the in the upper left. I've decided to go to a different corner. Okay, that's me. Look, I look like I don't take any shit from anyone. Let's use the key. Yeah, we're 1990s hot. Let's go. Um. Okay, there's got to be a light switch. Um, or, or, okay, if we just turn on the lamp, that works too. There's no light switch? Bruh, oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, if you just look around for a little bit, it might help. Look, I can see myself in the mirror, so well, I can't really. I can see just a silhouette. This is, wow, this is like college dorm room TV stand right here. First apartment. 20 years old, no furniture in the living room TV stand. Okay. Oh my god. I don't like mirrors. Really? Why not? You're 1990s hot though. Honestly, Susan wishes she could look like us. I want to take a shower before going to bed. Taking a shower or wait. Uh, let's take a shower. Let's taking a shower, yeah. There's no, by the way, there's no shower curtain. So water's just going everywhere right now. Also, we're showering in our underwear, which is kind of weird. Right now, I don't need the backpack. Oh, okay. Well, don't you need to, don't you need to change? Didn't we hear something? What is this? I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off. Uh, should we go to bed? I should get some sleep until the bus arrives. Okay, let's sleep. <gasps> I have to get out of here. The door is stuck. Oh no, I remember playing this in the demo. What do you do here? 
It's too hot to touch. Oh, we can't watch the TV right now. The door is stuck. It's too hot to touch. The glass is too hot. Oh no. Wait, did you break the window? The glass has exploded. Do we exit through the window or staying inside? Let's exit through the window. I, that part was better than it was in the demo. I remember being in there for like five minutes being like, what do you do? Dylan? My God, Dylan. Hold on. Oh, is it baby? That nightmare again. Dylan. When did you change? I got an achievement. Parasomnia. How many achievements are in the game? The achievement says, you don't sleep very well, huh? Which is kind of snippy. What is that noise? <gasps> oh my god! A video camera! Did him record me taking a shower? Seems like someone has extracted the cassette. Ooh. I like that word. That's really good. Next time I'm watching The Lion King on VHS, after it's done, I'll be like, I need to go extract the tape from the VCR. And yes, I do watch The Lion King on VHS still. Um, it's an experience that cannot be rivaled. The motel owner, that sick bastard, he must have broken in while I was sleeping. Maybe I should confront him and get the cassette back. Yeah. Fucking pervert. <laughs> Dude, well, like, how did he get... Like, like he's recording it, but like, how did he get, how did he get the tape? Oh, it was while we were in the shower with no shower curtain. I see. Right now I don't need the backpack. Interesting. Are you sure about that? Time to extract a confession from Mr. Shiny. Am I right? <sighs> Mr. Shiny. Uh, Mr. Shiny. I'm gonna annoy the piss out of you. Look at this poor shrub. I'm gonna put you in the corner away from the window. This shrub is living the good life. This one, do you, there's no way that Mr. Shiny waters these things. Okay, you know what, coming back. Today is August 17th, 1987. Okay. Should I call someone? Don't call anyone yet. There's no reason to. Hmm. Mr. Shiny. Oh, this is an arcade game. Run away. That looks like fun if I had a coin. Oh. What's going on back here? Tissues? I don't want to think about what he uses them for. A bin full of tissues. Smells pretty bad. I think I know why. Porn magazines. Hottie boy. That's the that's the greatest porn magazine I've ever seen. Disgusting. Wait, so is that the name of it? Disgusting? It looks like it has a VHS inside. Let's let's play it. Oh my goodness. There's there's me taking a shower! With my underwear on! <laughs> As we saw in the cutscene, obviously. God, does he make porn movies by filming clients? Um, apparently. Um, how did he get that tape out while we were in there? I guess he just came in, snuck in, and got it? I also appear in the recording. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh my god, he's so angry. I've discovered your secrets. <laughs> I have discovered your secret. She sounds so victorious. I like the confidence, Carol. Let's keep going with it. You sick. You sick. We'll call the police and you'll rot in jail. Oh, the police? I don't think so. Why does he sound... He sounds like a... Like a court jester. He sounds like a court jester from like an adventure game. Like a Sierra adventure game or something. Oh, you're going to stay locked in here until I decide what to do with you, bitch. And maybe I'll fuck that sweet, hairy pussy. No, no, 
Didn't need to hear that. Didn't need, didn't need to fucking hear that. Oh my God. You will do no such thing. I think in the demo, there was no voice acting. So I didn't have to hear, I didn't have to hear what went on. Oh my God. Ooh. Adds a whole new dimension to it. The window is open, but I can't reach it. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We got, <laughs> all right. Our, our hands with no fingers has successfully picked up something. It's okay, we've done it. Okay, I can already reach the window. Sure, I can go out now. Stay here. No, you know what? I think we'll stay here. So how much of the trash would you say is tissues? I should go back to the room and get my backpack and get the hell out of here. Even though I didn't have anything important, I could leave without it. You could leave without your backpack? No, 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 no. We're going back and we're getting that backpack. What would you guys say is the percentage of trash that is taken up by tissues? Oh, sorry. Hang on one second. Oh, my. How rude of me. Uh, we're streaming this live on Twitch right now. They love They love this. Watch. They're going to go ape shit in a second. Oh, yeah. There they go. There they go. Yeah. Yeah. They saw the spotlight and their eyes lit up. All right. It's over now, chat. It's over. What? My god, I have to get out of here right now. Oh look, he's disemboweled! I need to get my back, but my backpack is intact. So wait, he came back in here? Why? What the hell is that all about? Let's go. Yeah, he's shiny, all right. Shiny with blood. Wait a second. What's this? Oh, <gasps> the mystery machine. I should get the hell out of here. Yeah, so we probably don't want to get in the van, right? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what? That was it? <laughs> that was it? That was basically the demo. I guess that was like one scenario and there's four scenarios, right? It was basically the same experience as playing the demo, except this time we got some voice acting, which some of it I could have done without. I didn't need to hear Mr. Shiny say that one line. Although, I mean, I, I think overall the voice acting did did help it made the it made the world feel a little bit more alive and i believed susan when she got angry at me and we're back on the main menu right murderer's house oh wait what oh wait carol's not dead yet I mean, last time I saw you, you had a hook, like, clean through you, so I'd be surprised if you were doing all right. Oh my god! Carol, she lives! We're 1990s hot again! Um, I, like, cannot see. There's something glowing over there. Here we go. It seems to work. The rope is coming loose. <laughs> So how's it going? Oh, okay. I thought that was going to take a little bit longer than it did. Was this flashlight? Um, let's see. Equip. An old flashlight. Looks like it still works. So what? Ooh, nice. Boxes. Boxing. Plastic container. Paint pots. 
Okay, you can't really do anything with this. You got a lot of paint pots. He's an artiste. Who would have known? Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to interact with here. You got boxing and you got uh, paint pots. And then you got random pipe. All right, let's leave. I'm sure we'll be okay. Where the fuck am I? What's this? Numeric padlock. It would be useless. I don't know the combination. Huh. Okay. Wait, oh, you can hide. So I assume that when you do that, you close the doors. <laughs> right? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So we got a hiding place. That's nice. That's nice. Mattresses. Why are there just... This is such an indie horror thing to just have mattresses everywhere. Just propped up against the wall. Extra mattresses. Have you ever needed a mattress and asked your friends, like, any hey, of you guys have a spare mattress? They're always like, no. And that's because they're not horror antagonists. They, these guys got warehouses full of these mattresses. Subscribe for more poignant observations like this one. You know, I don't ask for much around here, but if you're watching this video and it's maybe like the 17th video of mine that you've seen and you haven't subscribed, you could just, like, what are you waiting for? You could just subscribe. It's not a big deal. What, what, what are you holding out for? Whatever you're waiting for, it's not going to happen. So, don't know what expectations you're, you're trying to hold me to, but uh, you'll be disappointed. Remember, you can hide under tables, beds, and in some furniture scattered around the house. Okay, so you're telling me this because I'm about to have to do that, right? Oh my god. I wonder if the killer subscribed to me. Damn, this door is locked. How can I get out of here? Shit, someone's coming. I should hide. What do you mean? What do you mean somebody's coming? <laughs> hide! Do you hear the footsteps? I think I may have hidden, like, really early. He's probably like, when I catch you, you will pay dearly. But you don't have to pay anything at all to subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm going to get out of the cabinet now. Do you think he went back upstairs? I think he went back upstairs. Oh, the door's open now. Should I crouch? Look at me hiding! How could he not see you? Fire. Burn. Can't be serious. Burn. Ew. Is it human flesh? I don't know. Oh, bars on the window. That's just great. Ooh. Look. A wrench. It's too hot. I need water to put out the flames. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. I go, okay, so I gotta get what? A pot full of water, douse the flames, get the wrench, and then use the wrench on what? You got me... All kinds of chores here. What was this? What's this? A hole in the wall. What is that inside? Bruh. Hi. Do you hear him walking around? Look, he wrote mom and blood on the wall. He's walking around very close to me. I wish you would listen to that stuff on the TV. Oh my gosh. What is the point of having a kitchen if you have nothing in the cabinets? Doesn't move. I can probably open it later when the pressure inside has decreased. What do you mean the pressure inside? 
There may be pressure inside the fridge, but there's no pressure at all from me to subscribe and like the video. Oh, he's coming in. I knew he would do this. Well, he just opened the door and then walked away. There's a bathroom in there. Oh, he's still going. I need to keep the doors open so I can see while I'm hiding. Goodbye. What would you say is in the toilet? Anything? Bathtub? No faucet. That's true. Kind of useless to have a bathtub with no faucet. Fire. Oh, upstairs. Bro, he's upstairs right now. Whatever. Is he listening to stuff again? Oh, ugh, I came in. He's going downstairs. What an idiot. Going downstairs, what an idiot. He's going downstairs. <laughs> Time to go up to the top floor. Is there water up here? What does it say? Home. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? Paint pots? Bruh, there's nothing in here. Oh, hey, rust remover. There seems to be something in the pipe. I can't reach it. Maybe I can loosen the pipe with something. Like, oh, like a wrench? God, you have to, you have to like spam click. A piece of cork. If I had something to cut it with, I could make a stopper. Okay, so we, so I come up here. I come up here with the wrench. And I come up here with something to cut, right? The knob doesn't turn. Maybe I can use something to make the psycho pull it down. Oh, look, there's an item in there. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? No, don't hide. Bro. Okay, fine, I'll just hide inside. What is it? There's something I can pick up in there. It wouldn't let me. Oh, right, there he is. Good thing I hid, huh? I have to say, also, very poor use of space. Bandage. Oh my god. What was over here? Uh... Oh, backpack! Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> What's over here? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, let's go downstairs. If we can. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it! Hide! Hide, you idiot! What the fuck?! <laughs> oh my god how did he how did he not see me go underneath the table also i am amazed at how many slashes i took i thought i was dead for real i liked when he pulled me out of the the closet and i was like i guess i'm dead and then i realized that he just like he took me out and he just set me down right next to him. And then he just kind of stood there for a second. And then he went like, <laughs> bandage. Oh. Hide. Okay. It'd be great to like look at my inventory while I'm in here, but you can't do it. The game don't work like that.
Rush remover on the project pad. How long is the rust being removed from the padlock? Bro, it's still being removed. I saw, I saw it, the padlock's still smoking over there. I guess we gotta wait. Now I could use a key. Oh, fuck. There's nothing down here, is there? Oh, what's this? What the? <laughs> Where was that place? Alarm clock. Bandage. Badly deteriorated, but it seems to work. Oh, maybe I can use it somewhere to get that psycho's attention. Okay. We're using the alarm clock. Let's go ahead and hide right here. Oh, he's mad. Listen to him, he's pissed. He coming. Now we just wait for him to leave. Oh, he's calmed down now. He's okay. He's calmed down. He's calmed down. Time for you to go out. That's right. Thank you so much. If I need your services again, I will definitely call for them. Bye-bye. Uh, there seems to be something down there, but I can't pull the board out with my hands. What? Trunk. What? Take the... Hot. Oh, key, 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 key. Wait. Wait, where are we? Wait, what happened? Oh. I was trying to look at my key in the inventory. Oh no. Can I pull this? Pull this out of the way? No? Oh, in here. We go in here. Oh no, did... Did Dylan die in a fire? Hold on! What the hell is happening to me? Uh, you're having a... Widow hallucination. It looks like the key is some kind of padlock. Oopsie, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and use that key. <gasps> if I don't move, I think I'll be safe here. Quiet. I'll get the crowbar. I got the crowbar just now. Oh, there's ropes right there, too. I think I can take a picture of this moment in case I need to remember it later. It has three shots left. Oh, you can save game. You save your game at the camera. Nice, bro. So up until this point, there was no save. What the hell? Okay. Let's take a look at our stuff. Okay. Surprisingly, I still have the rust remover. Got the bandage, but I'm not hurt, baby. Crowbar, it's rusty. Although this should not be a problem. Thanks for clarifying that, so don't try to use the rust remover on it. So we could use this on... We could probably use this on the board upstairs. And then rope, old rope. Okay, well, that's not really helpful. Here we go. 
Okay. Oh, a note. I can't carry more objects. What? What do you mean you can't carry more objects? Okay. Drop the rust remover? Oh my gosh. Looks like child's handwriting. What would we need the note for? What is this? Mutant Horde is what the video game is. So I guess, did the backpack allow us to hold more stuff? I, Cause I thought it did, but it's, it's like I can only hold like a few things. Well then why don't we just like take all the items to the little safe place and then just drop them all on the ground. Why don't we just do that? That seems like a little hack. Can't take a look at this one. A video game for a handheld game console. What? Where's a handheld game console? I don't remember ever seeing that. Uh, strategy, drop everything in the um, <laughs> safe room begins now. Okay, so I dropped the crowbar down. I dropped the rope as well, and uh, we'll drop the video game here as well. Uh, they're all like, they're all like right here. There we go. Oh my god, I have to individually remove them? The Game Boy's in there. He's pissy! How'd he hear that? How'd he hear me do that? Missing the batteries in the game cartridge. I have to put them in before I take it with me. A very bad diary. It must not have been used for a long time. I don't like being here. The house is very dirty and smell like garbage. I think I saw him walk around in the background. He only feeds me raw meat. It tastes really bad, although at least he feeds me and doesn't lock me up like mom and dad did. Day eight. Today my new father get angry with me because I threw up my food, but I couldn't help it. He took my stuff and threw it down the well in the basement, although luckily I had my video game console hidden away. Ooh. Day nine. Tonight I was brave and went down to the basement, but I got scared when I got close to the well because I heard someone screaming inside, so I... I came out my room. Wait, what? I ran out my room. I don't know. Day 20. We'll eventually get through his diary, his very short diary. Day 20. I'm getting used to the food my new dad gives me. I think I like it. Day 58. Today we went hunting and came back with lots of new meat. Father told me that we have to leave them alive until we need them to eat. That way they stay fresh and the meat tastes better. Day 70. I don't know why the smell of me new home bothered me. Now I find it cozy. I don't want to be anywhere else but here. Okay, so... Wait, how exactly is this going to help us? Was it just... I guess it was just lore? 1, 8, 9, 20... I mean... The numbers at the top could be part of the a code for the padlock in the basement. But other than that, like, I was looking for numbers. Like, there's a clue here, video game console hidden away, but we already have that, because we got the video game console. Wait. Hang on. Weren't there batteries? Looks like it still has batteries, but the cover that covers them is screwed on. Oh, damn. So that's how you get the batteries. Check the basement. Two, 
too rusty. I can't get it to turn. Oh, we got to get the rust remover. The rust remover is on the second floor. Oh, shit. I turn around. It's okay. So we gotta go back to the second floor to get the rust remover. We go back down here, we turn the valve, that'll do something. We turn the water on, maybe? It's funny, at first when you start these games, you're like, oh no, I hope he doesn't get me. And after a while, you're just like, I just leave so I can go and do the inventory puzzles, please. Okay. Can't carry more objects. What? Oh. Well, okay, we're done with the alarm clock. I guess when we need the note, we'll come back and get it. Okay. Here we go. Rust, rust remover. Now do I gotta wait? The rust is still dissolving. I cannot wait until we have the honor, the prestige, of turning the valve in the basement. Oh. My God. How scientific is this? Good. Time for him to get mad. Water's already flowing in the pipes. I should check the bathrooms. Oh, hell yeah. We got water flowing now. Ooh, bucket. A perforated steel bucket. I don't need it for now. What do you mean you don't need a perforated? It's collecting water. Yeah, we got the rust remover up here. That's what we did. And see something in the pipe. Can't reach it. Um, can't lo need to loosen it. Oh, oh, oh. Water is already flowing, but it goes down the drain. I need something to hold it in the bathtub. Like the cork? So there's cork right here. We need something to cut. Could make a stopper. What? Cut the cork, make a stopper for the bathtub, get some water, use it on the fire, get the wrench, and then we can see what's in the pipe, right? Hi. You don't happen to ha can I borrow your sickle so I can cut the cork and make a stopper? I wonder what the note says. I'm just gonna read it here because it won't let me, oh wait, no, I can use it. Reminder, the combination of the, you know what, we'll just read this. The combination of the lock and the well is the same as my score in the mutant horde game. Although I don't remember it, and for it to reappear, I have to get more than 6,000 points and restart the game console. What? The well scares the crap out of me, but I will go in and get my stuff before I can, before, or uh, when I grow up and get brave. Uh, so we don't actually need this. So I need to get batteries for the game console. In order to get the batteries for the game console, I have to take them on the radio, which requires getting rid of screws. Screwdriver. Once I get the game console on, I can look at the high score. The high score gives the combination for the well. To get the wrench to open the pipe, I had to find something to douse the fire with. I've got water flowing, but I need a cork to stop with the bathtub. To get the cork, I need something sharp. So I need to figure out how to get something sharp and to get a screwdriver by using the rope or and or the diary. How come it just opens now? How come it just opens now? Can someone explain? I was just like, let's just try opening the fridge again. Boom. Okay, so now I can cut the cork. Okay. And then I can stop the The knife is embedded in a block of ice. Ah, I gotta go put it next to the fire. Wait, what's this? 
a nail? Maybe I could tie something here. What? Oh. Like, it's a little trap. Fire! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Pick up the knife, bro. You know what? While you're using it, like, like while you're doing it, you could use the knife on the killer. It's very sharp and full of dry blood. Where could I use it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe on the ankles of the killer? That's what you used the rope for? Poor guy, he stood there, he was like. <sighs> Don't tell me you're still up here. Oh, he dropped a key. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, he pulled us out. He pulled us out of our spot. No, nobody's in here. I'm sorry for tripping you. Don't look in here. Don't look at the only place in the entire house that I could possibly be in. You're making me very nervous. Leave. What I get a key for? Key for trunk, maybe? I think it's the van key. Time to cut cork. Put cork in bathtub. Okay, okay. Cork. Uh, use knife to cut a stopper. And then we take the stopper. We'll put that in the bathtub. Yeah. And then what? Okay, now I got wire in the bathtub. Now what? Now I need something to fill with this water. Yeah, I was wondering when you were going to get to this part. Just carry it in the... So it's, it's obviously the bucket downstairs. The perforated bucket. It's bucket time. Damn, he almost had us. Oh, wait, I have the bucket. What the? I picked up the bucket. It said it was perforated, so I thought there was like a hole in it. Oh, there is a hole in it. So we're going to be timed going from the water to the fire. Oh, my God. So mean. Okay. Uh, here we go. Look at it. Fuck it.
Shit, I didn't get here in time. There's not enough water left to put out the fire. Dickhead. God. Okay, fine. I'll go do it again. I like how it won't let you use it when you're in a chase. I thought I could big brain this. Oh my god. I had to set my bucket down. You can see my bucket at the <laughs> at the bottom of the screen. It's leaking water still. Uh. Fuck it! Damn. This sucks. Leave! Yeah. Okay, so we got the wrench. Oh my god, look at him. He's going upstairs again. God, uh, so annoying. Uh, it's okay, the wrench is our ticket out of here. So we're gonna take the wrench, we're gonna open up the pipe upstairs, there's probably gonna be some batteries in it. We're gonna get the game, we're gonna try to get a high score. He didn't walk upstairs. Oh! He did walk upstairs! God, I didn't hear him walking. That's why I said he didn't walk upstairs. Okay, right here. Okay, pipe. Yeah, I know, yeah. Please, I'm in the red. Thank you. Thank you for not making me manually do this. I appreciate that. That would make me really sad. He heard the noise. Now he's gonna just stand there for a little bit. And he's gonna leave. Okay, bye! Bro, I have to do this. See you later. He's going down that way. Use the coin to get the batteries. Use the coin to turn the screws to get the batteries. Oh, you have got to be fucking shitting me. Why would you be coming back upstairs? You were going downstairs. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna save. That's right. I don't, so I don't have to do the bucket again. That was... A pain in the butt. Pain in the bucket, you could say. Okay. You might be in the basement. What? This. <laughs> Hang on one second. I gotta get the batteries out of this thing. Thank you for waiting. Did you get me twice? Did you get me twice there? Give me battery. You have to get both batteries. You have to pick up both batteries. I have to put the battery in the same place. <laughs> Individual.
individually. Why can't I just take the Game Boy out and then hide under the table and then insert the batteries in the Game Boy under the table? Oh, now we can take it. Oh, now we can take it. Interesting. Oh, great. Now we can take it with us. Okay. Now we'll... Now time to turn it on. Dirty, but functional. I have to play. Turn the sound off at least. I have to get 6,000 or more for the high score to appear. Oh my gosh. Dude, if you played this for more than like two seconds, I'm disappointed in you. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh no, they took out my barrier. No, the worms are gonna kill me. Okay, here we go. We'll die for sure. Cool. What a great game. 8163, was that it? It was WJ. Did I beat his high score? That's hilarious. Dude, this is the only game you played and I beat it first try. That's funny. Oh my God. Okay. Now just don't go into the basement. Please allow me to go into the basement. <laughs> what an idiot! Okay. Alright, let's try it. Oh my gosh, you're really gonna make me do this? Alright, I'm gonna try the first one. 8163, look at that. Fuck, I don't have the rope anywhere. Oh, anymore. The only way I have left to get down there is to jump. What? I'm jumping. Fuck it. <laughs> well, wait. You didn't tell me how... Bruh, you didn't tell me how deep it was. Plus, the rope was broken. Oh no. Once upon a time. It's locked, the key must be around here. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> you're like most people, you do this dumb shit. Babies sound demonic. Oh no. Look at all the, <gasps> look at all the beer. Oh no. Did the fire start with the oven? Locked. Hmm. Is there like a key on here or something? Am I missing something? Oh. It's not the correct key. Oh no, Mom. Why did you do this? Fuck. When they came into your room, you just cried and cried. Oh no, you couldn't be quiet. Good bitch. Everyone's calling me the B word in this game. I don't like that. Bye, Mom. Oh, the door's open now. 
Dylan. Oof, that was really red. I know you. What's going on here? Somebody's squatting by the car. Oh, is it Susan? Shit. I got a flat tire. Maybe someone in the area will let me make a call. What a night. What? Poor, so we're playing as Susan now. Oh no. Miller's Farm, uh-oh. I feel like this isn't good. Susan, I didn't think you would come back. So did I kill Carol? Or... Was there a way? Should I not have jumped down the well? I was just like... Because I already checked the rope and it said it was broken. It can't be used anymore. So I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? <gasps> Wait a second. This is the van that we got the key to. It's locked. Wow. All right, let's get it. Is anyone down there? Hello? I think someone's in trouble. I must go down there. Listen to Susan. She's in hero mode already. So then if we're supposed to go down to the well, how do you propose? It's too heavy. I need something for leverage. So I need to move the old trunk off. So we're not supposed to go inside the house. Oh, a stick. We use the stick. Let's go. Okay. Wooden plank. It's lit up so well when we do that. No, no pun intended. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I'm sure there's someone down there. I need something to get down there. Just jump down there like Carol. Need something to get down there. Okay, let's start looking around. Some kind of rope would be great. Um... Maybe, let's see, we, we didn't come in from this way, did we? No, I don't think I should go this way. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks for saving me time. I need something to go down there. So I don't have anything in my inventory. Oh my gosh, here's a ladder. Just didn't even see it. Let's go, Susan. It's really dark. Did, did they forget that I can't see fucking anything? Oh, I turned the brightness up all the way and that's as good as it's gonna get. Ooh. That rat's got something. Why can't I click on it? Oh, I got it. It's an old key. It will surely open one of the doors of this site. This site? Well, like we're... <laughs> Let's open one of the doors at the black site. We'll open one of the web pages of the website. I mean this. Oh, oh no. We gotta do something about this. When I was a child. Uh oh. Turn the brightness down a little bit. <laughs> Dylan. If mom sees you painting the wall again, she's going to put you back in the closet. Oh. Wait. Oh, Dylan was your little brother. Carol, get ready. There are two coming today. They're both coming in at the same time? I'm gonna make a lot of money today. Don't even think about crying this time. Wait, is mom a sex worker? I don't wanna hear your crying and screaming. We need the money. I don't care. I don't wanna do it. Wait, what? I don't give a shit what you want. Get ready, they're coming. Is your brother there? Tell him to come out. 
Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just... You have to get out. You heard, Mom. Sis, why are all those men coming to your room? Are they friends of yours? Oh, so that's what I thought. Well, that's a shame. No, they're not my friends. Are they Mom's friends? I don't know, but Mom makes me play games with them that I don't like. They hurt me. Uh, Why don't you tell Mom you don't want to play with them anymore? I have told her, but she makes me play. Yeah, that sucks. I hate Mom. I wish she would die. Well, that sucks. Oh, wait, what's going on? <gasps> wait, now we're at the now we're at the hospital? Doctor, do you think the boy will recover? It's possible, although he has suffered severe burns, especially to his face. Due to smoke inhalation, his lungs will be damaged for life, and he may suffer permanent brain damage. Poor guy. May I know how he ended up like this? His house burned down while he was asleep. Only he and his sister survived. So is is he the is he the slasher that's after us? Oh, uh, it's the girl. She's fine, without a single burn. When we arrived on the scene, she was already out of the house. We still don't know why. Those those cops sounded bored talking about this horrific situation. From now on, this will be your new home. Um... You have plenty of room to run and play. Come on, knock on the door to meet Mr. Miller. He's a good man. He'll take good care of you. The unknown woman is a shadow person. I see. So the guy after us is Dylan, our little brother. Right? Oh. The big twist. The big twist. Oh no. We gotta Are get out of okay? here. Wait, I know you. Are you the girl I left at the motel? We have to get out of here. What happened to you? Someone came to the motel and murdered the owner. When I tried to escape, that psycho son of a bitch ran me over with his van. When I woke up, I was tied up in his basement. I've been through hell trying to get out of there alive. Carol, how did you not recognize the mask? They just showed it to us in the cutscene, and we recognized it immediately. Oh, shit. Everything is spinning. Uh, Carol's not the brightest tool in the shed, huh? You're covered in blood. Are you hurt? I think so. And before you say, wait a second... Isn't that sharpest tool in the shed? Ha ha ha! He made a mistake! Ha ha! No, it was a joke. We have to get out of here before he comes back. Can you walk? I think I have something broken, but I'm not gonna die in this hole. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, Susan's like, yeah, I respect it. I know how to get out of these tunnels. Follow me. Do you? Because I don't. I mean, it's not that hard, really. Just go to the right. Okay, look at the, at the altar. Oh my goodness. Oh, now we're playing as Limping Carol. Susan, don't die! Wait, what happened to my flashlight? Oh, she took my flashlight. Susan, that's my flashlight! She's gonna get killed right in front of me, isn't she? Uh-oh. We've got the van key, though, still. Oh, okay, we're actually making it out. Hey, uh, how did you get here? Shit! I forgot for a moment. One of the tires on my car is flat and I don't have a spare. Uh-oh. I had to come to the farm looking for help, but I heard screaming in the well. It's fine, we can just take the van. Maybe we can get away from here a bit, even with a flat tire. It's possible, let's try. But I've got the, I've got the van key, don't I? No, do I not have anything? Susan, do you Follow have Follow me, there's a path ahead. Well, look at her go. I can't run that fast, Susan. Damn it, Susan. 
No! Well. No. Come on, man. No. After all that work, we even got the van key. Bad ending. Achievement unlocked. No hope. What? Is this the worst ending? You have died zero times. You did not pick up the VHS. You did not call 911. You got the bad ending for Carol and Susan. Oh. Was I supposed to call 911 when nothing bad was happening? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the key. You see it right there? I missed it. Okay. Okay, we got the key this time. Let's see if it changes anything. You know what? Let's just not talk to her this time. Bye-bye, Susan. Follow me. I know where the van is. See, she's going towards the van this time. Damn, bro. It's taking me forever. Dude. We get it. Oh, look at that. We're in the van. What happens now? I wonder if they made you like drive through it at one point, but then they decided to make it a cutscene instead. Three hours later. Oh, I got an achievement. They are alive. Oh, interesting. Wait, I'll gloat in a second. I'm really looking forward to the gloating. Tow truck's coming up. Hmm. You wearing a Freddy Krueger sweater? What's going on there? Oh! He's dead. Okay, you have died zero times. Oh, we got the VHS. I got the good ending. I got the good ending. And that's all that matters. Oh, Twitch chat was over here like, oh, you gotta go back to the motel and play the entire thing over again. Oh, I guess I'll have to replay two hours worth of the game, huh? Yeah. And I knew, I knew that all we had to do was just reload a little bit earlier. And then we were good to go. We got the good ending. That's right. Because we, you know what? We, no, I put in the work. I put in the work. I got the van key. All right, so what are my thoughts on Deadly Night? Well, okay, so first of all, you know, like I said, this game was not developed by Puppet Combo. It was published by Torture Star, which is Puppet Combo's publishing company. Um, with that said, you know, it was developed by Cubite, and they... I mean, made it very similar in a lot of ways to Puppet Combo. Um, I think we can kind of break this game up into like three acts. There's act one, which is the motel, which was the same as the demo that I played months ago. There's act two, which is the house. And that's probably the most Puppet, Puppet Combo-like. It's like, I mean, it's basically stay out of the house, right? Um, the game that we're all looking forward to the day when it inevitably finally releases, stay out of the house. Um, you know, where you're trapped in, in a house with a killer and you have to basically put together a bunch of elaborate inventory puzzles, kind of like Granny, because Stay Out of the House was kind of Puppet Combo's answer to Granny, the mobile horror game. Smash hit, mobile horror game. So, I mean, Act 2 is basically like bit for bit, exactly like that. And then there was Act 3, which was kind of the exposition dump 
with like the oh the killer is actually your little brother Dylan by the way you <laughs> by the way you were a child prostitute jeez like holy shit what did that really need to be in there I, I think I think you can put almost anything in a story as long as it serves a purpose I'm not convinced that that was like purposeful it seemed like it was just in there for shock value but you know kind of weighed down act three a little bit because it was just like what Ooh, gross <laughs> horrible parents so yeah that was a little weird but yeah act three i also a little criticism i liked playing as susan but i really did not like the dark well gameplay uh find the rat with the glowing key in the dark maze where you literally can't see anything gameplay um and i also wasn't really a fan of how the ending is decided there at the end where it's like if you have the van key you get the good ending and if you don't you just die and there's not really much you can do to change that in fact there's nothing you can do if you don't have the van key you die if you do you escape i kind of i kind of wish at the end that we were kind of chased out somehow I don't know how it would have happened because we had a limp and we were moving like two miles an hour, but that would have made it a little more interesting because the entire time that I was limping to the van, I was like, we're not going to make it out or like, he's coming out of the house and that never happened. So yeah, it's, I didn't mind the experience. I thought it was fine overall, but not one of the best examples of the genre. In my opinion, I did find the house gameplay to be the strongest part of the game. Although I did still, I kind of liked how over the top the motel sequence was. It was just like really schlocky and really, like I said, the, the motel owner, Mr. Shiny sounded like a court jester. I mean, it seemed like it was really campy and fun. But then the, I think the highlight of the game was the house. But at the same time, it's kind of the same thing that I've played a lot for Puppet Combo. You know, Nun Massacre, Stay Out of the House. Basically the same gameplay. And I don't mind the inventory puzzles. You know, I like Granny. I stand Granny as a game, as a mobile horror game. I think that game gets a bad rap. And I'm glad that, uh, you know, it's, it's funny because when you play Granny, there's like, like, like the more serious horror crowd all of a sudden gets super elitist and it's like that mobile horror game. Ha. Huh. I, I despise mobile horror games, cash grab games like Granny. Oh, they're for children. Children, I say. But then you play a game that's like a basically Granny, just like skinned with, you know, the PS1 aesthetic and 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 really loud noises and all of a sudden it's uh it's different right like i said i don't i didn't mind the house sequence but it wasn't my well it wasn't the best example of the genre i don't think oh somebody was just peeking at me from over here what the hell is your problem so yeah i think overall it was like an average experience maybe slightly above average but uh, yeah that's what i thought about deadly night so uh for those of you watching this on youtube uh don't forget to subscribe it costs you nothing did i do a good job of selling myself and uh everybody in uh twitch chat you go you go ahead, you go ahead and say hi because we're we're over here playing it right now but uh you guys are seeing it like way later there they go. There they go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. 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 Everybody. Mom, look. I'm famous. I'm on the. I'm on the YouTube video. Look. Look at me. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.